<clears throat> All right, everybody. Looks like we are once again live. Welcome <clears throat> to another episode of Yankees America Guns and Freedom podcast. If you've never been here before, this is just conversation between myself and my viewers. Uh, you don't have to talk to me if you don't want to. You can talk amongst yourselves over there in the live chat. It's a place you can come every day for about an hour and have conversations with like-minded individuals about common interests. However, if you do want to talk to me, this is your chance. This is uh, your time to ask me questions, to suggest topics, to uh, call me out if you think I've been wrong about something. Like if you're one of the many people today that said I sound like a BLM or because I don't like the police and the ATF assassinating people, <clears throat> come on in the chat and let us know why you feel that way. But uh, like I said, uh, this is your chance to ask me questions, suggest topics, or call me out if you think I'm wrong about something. <clears throat> now, if you do want to ask me something, make sure, and I'm catching a cold and I'm losing my voice. So uh, if you want to ask me something, make sure you put at the Yankee Marshall in front of it, uh, like it says here in the bottom corner of my video feed. That way I can uh, get to uh, the question you ask. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, but, uh, I forgot where I was at. Hold on. Why is it like that? Uh, I'm trying to read and do my thing at the same time and it's not, not working, but like I said, make sure you put out the Yankee Marshall in front of you. Want me to see it? I doesn't guarantee I'll see it or get to it. I'm usually behind in the chat. Do not repeat questions. Just put them in there once. And hopefully I'll get to it. If you put at the Yankee Marshall in front of it, as long as we don't run out of time, I should get to it. Uh, if you don't want to wait to see if I get to a question or you want to jump to the front of the line or you just want to donate to the Pets and Vets Fund, you can do Super Chat. Super Chat to get priority as far as being answered. doesn't matter if they're $2, $20, treat them all the same. The only time the amount matters is if you want to get an entry into the friend drawing, uh, you'll need to do $4.99 or more. Uh, or if you want to get entered into the hat drawing, at the end of the video where you can choose a hat, a t-shirt, or a, excuse me, a fall, small flag, uh, uh, then the amount matters because you get, excuse me, I can get the hiccups. You get uh, different amounts for your different donations. It's one note, one entry for a $2 chat, three entries for a $5 chat, seven entries for a $10 chat, 15 entries for <clears throat> a $20 chat. So uh, we will do that drawing at the end of the chat tonight. <clears throat> uh, and remember, if you're someone who's won one recently and you haven't gotten a confirmation yet that it's shipped, let me know so that I can make sure that I actually ordered it because I think I missed one. <clears throat> uh, but uh, like I was saying, uh, got my all hail Phil hat today, just waiting on the flags. Good. Uh, <clears throat> That's a good thing, I guess. Eric Harry Schnauzer said. <clears throat> Let me see. Are there any super chats I need to get to? Doesn't look like it. So I can move on with the spiel. Uh, the other way you could support Pets and Vets is to become a patron. Go over on Patreon.com, become a patron. We desperately need patrons. I do think we actually got some new patrons uh, this today, actually. Today and yesterday. Let me see. Notifications. Let me go to the notifications. Uh, John English became a member. <clears throat> well, these are free members. John English, Pete Watson, and uh, Will Zamora became free members. You know, they're not contributing money, but at least they're paying attention. Uh, Kristen A. Barella, uh, not the Barella, just A. Barella, uh, up their membership. <clears throat> One person downgraded their membership and well, I guess William Zamora did become a patron. Uh, Christopher Purdy became a patron. Kevin Wood became a patron. And Simon Naylor became a patron. So we got some extra patrons today. Uh, <clears throat> uh, and we got a couple questions coming in here. Uh, G.D. Willa says, Good Willa, Good Willa. Uh, sent you an email with a picture of my new gun purchase today. Did I see it over here? Uh, uh, I don't see it. You sure you sent it? Well, let's hope it comes through at some point, but I don't see it right now. 
Uh, Michael C3PO says, Hey, Yankee, please incorporate a thick gal in your next weed and gun tune. Hit the trifecta, thick gal. I'll buy a dozen. No, you wouldn't. Liar. Uh, Kurt Dean says Mossberg shockwave or AR rifle for apartment living and best overall defense. Well, I would ARs are not really the best for any type of home defense. I don't like, and I don't like rifles for home defense because it just leaves, it limits your maneuverability if you ever get into a tussle with someone. <clears throat> so uh, not a big fan of being stuck indoors with a rifle. Uh, Shockwave, eh, not so bad, not so hard to maneuver, but still a little big, but <clears throat> would probably work better, I think. Plus, you can adjust your shot type for, you know, what kind of building you live in. <clears throat> uh, all right, now that I got those answered, let me pour my drink. My drink. Uh, the next program we run is TYM Triple P. If you are uh, a recipient from this month, you've got your email. Make sure you answer it. Uh, if you want to be registered for next month's drawing, go on over to TYMPPistolProject.com and register my Dr. Pepper Strawberry and Cream Zero Sugar, as usual. Go on over and register. <clears throat> if you're someone that doesn't need to benefit from TYMPPP, but you'd like to support it so that other people can continue to benefit from it, we can continue to increase the number of homes in this country that are good Second Amendment families. Uh, go over and support it. You can either become a supporter on Subscribestar, which Subscribestar is not doing well. We've lost a lot of subs on Subscribestar. I think we've dropped under 100 now. Oops, I, I hit the wrong button. There we go. Yeah, well, we're back. We're, we're at 100, so we might have gotten one person back. I thought we had dropped to 99 last night. Maybe I imagined that. <clears throat> I was having nightmares last night about editing videos. It just mm. <clears throat> gets on your nerves sometimes. Um, what was I saying? Okay. Uh, let's see. Where was I? Oh, the other way you can support it, other than going over and becoming a, a subscribe star. And remember, Kevin Mabry was the winner. I don't know if he's contacted me yet. Uh, John Bush says trigger in a bag. Well, that trigger in a bag was shipped a long time ago. Uh, yeah, it was shipped a long time ago. And there should be a receipt to it. I'll have to find it. Oh, what happened to that? I know I had the one from... It was in there on that table. I'll look for it later. Because I know I had it with the receipt from... But yeah, it was shipped a long time ago. Uh, where was I at? Uh, it was in a big white envelope, like a hard sided envelope, like a manel. But no, it's not manel, it's cardboard, like white cardboard envelope. So, <clears throat> this should have been there a long time ago. It uh, it was mailed about the same time that Martin Bisquick's was remailed, and his has already made it to Sweden a week ago. So or Switzerland, or wherever the fuck it is he lives. <clears throat> um, uh, where was I? What was I just doing? Oh, I was saying go over and become a subscribe star, Starlet, uh, or buy merchandise. Uh, and I want to say thank you to the people who have bought merchandise today. So let's go over here and see who's bought something. <clears throat> uh, Chris Fulmer, wasn't that from yesterday? Well, maybe not. Bought a Revolutionary Willie t-shirt. No, he that was from yesterday. Why is that showing us from today? I remember reading that yesterday. Uh, Anthony Faison ordered a All Hill Hail Phil shirt and uh, Subjugate and Punish. Oh, and a Buy a Bum Stock shirt. I don't see that sell very often. I think that might be the first one of those sold. Uh, and uh, Don Googly Goo bought a King Cobra hat. That's a cool hat. I like that King Cobra climbing the Empire State Building. Of course, I'm a big Kaiju fan. I'm a big <coughs> fan of giant monsters. <coughs> big Godzilla fan. Grew up on Godzilla. So that one and the one where King Kong versus Godzilla, I love those. And people just bleh at it when I put those up there. But I'm like, those are the fucking best designs on the website, you piece of shit. <coughs> Goddamn bastards. 
not appreciating the King Kong and the, uh, but who else do we got over here? Uh, we got, we sold a subjugate and punish hat. I think I read that yesterday. Jeff Patterson. That was one for yesterday too. Why did it come through us today? Uh, Jared Walsh got a, where's the kaboom t-shirt? Clarence Moore got a, pre a prep a pig. That's what I'm wearing right now. Prep a pig. <clears throat> I'm wearing that shirt right this minute. I like this shirt. I don't even really know who Peppa Pig is. I've never seen a Peppa Pig cartoon, but I like this shirt. And I like I liked drawing it in this style because this is like a totally different style than what I usually draw. It's one of those where they, instead of using black outlines, they just use a darker version of whatever color is the fill for the outline. And that was fun to do. Uh, and someone else ordered something. It was Michael C-3PO. He got some uh, magnets, a couple magnets. They raised the price of magnets. Don't make much off of them anymore. <clears throat> I'm going to have to raise the price. I don't want to, but I'll eventually have to. Corporations are robbing us blind. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, I just read all the names and I said go over and buy stuff if you want to support. Uh, but yeah, now I kind of want to go in and see if I can find that receipt real fast, but I'll have to wait till later. See if it's still there, it's still there. If it's not, it's not. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, it was mailed a long time ago. Uh, where was I? Let me get back over here to the live chats. Uh, Paul B used his 31 month WAP chat to say, do you think some of the other douchebag gun channels have encouraged, influenced your shadow banning? Oh yeah, that was part of it because one of the reasons they gave my network is that it's just, I receive an exceptionally high number of complaints. Uh, that people are always reporting me for stuff. And like some of the videos I've gotten removed lately have been for bullying and harassment. And see, when they report you for that shit, they just delete your video and they don't even bother to look to see if you're bullying or harassing anyone. Oh, and just so everybody knows, no, you don't get entries into the drawing if you do a member chat. When you pay your money for your member chat, that's for the icon you get on your name over here. So you don't get two prizes for that. <clears throat> just because someone last night said, you didn't count my members chat. And I'm like, members chat don't count towards the drawing because the money you pay for that free member chat goes to getting you your icon in the chat. Uh <clears throat> Uh, a buddy of mine just got a PSA AK. Talk about bang for your buck. Now I want one of their AK pistols with the triangle folding brace. Uh, I have just recently bought some handgun lowers from PSA, and I am extremely impressed with them. And I gave one of them to Caden and said, pick out your slide and your barrel and stuff, and then I'll get it for you. And it'll be your first polymer gun, you know, because he's turning 20 here in a few days. And you can have a gun at 18. You just can't carry around or anything like that so i uh, i'm gonna build him his first polymer gun he's chosen the the honeycomb barrel threaded uh and the i think it's like a gs5 or something s5 slide <coughs> in the coyote brown like his gun the barrel he wants black Dale Riggity said, nothing important to say, but maybe next week I will get to rub my pipe off. At your age, you shouldn't be doing that anymore. It's going to hurt yourself. Wouldn't that be embarrassing if that's how you end up, you know, getting hurt and paramedics have to come. You have to explain to them what happened. No, you don't want that. Um, I think this might have been that email from the person saying they bought the got a new gun. Oh, look what they got. The one on the left. <clears throat> I mean, the one on the right. Eh. One on the left. Very, very pretty. Uh, let's share it here. This is what they got. Looks like they got uh, it's one of them X10s. That's, and I'm like, that's nice that it's an X10, but I'm like, eh, yeah, no more dime it is. Uh, but look at that pretty uh, uh, Ruger on the left. A super Blackhawk. It looks like a 44 mag. And of course, the 
X10. But that was from David Willard. David Willard. Uh, Flash in the pan donated and says, All hail Phil, P's and V's. I have an old Commerce semi auto pistol, 25 caliber, made in Germany. Can't find much info about it. It is, never heard of it. Or at least if I saw it, I might know, I might know something about it. But if I just hear the name, never heard of it. Uh, Michael C3PO says, True, but in case you forgot, please swap a black gray tabby cat in your Yankee tunes. I'll buy a mag and a hat. Maybe a hoodie. I still want the thicky thick. Uh, I upped my subscribe star level. I did, oh, that might be why I'm up to 100. It might count you as a new uh, back up to 100 because you, it might have went down to 99 when you upgraded and then didn't factor you in yet. I've seen that happen on there. Like when you change, it'll take you off this and then puts you back on once it cycles you back in. <clears throat> so that's why I may have went down to 99 and then back up to 100. Uh, my, that was locked in that said that. Uh, Michael Lorigio, uh, T3PO says, Make some pants merch, a Yankee outfit. I don't, nobody wants to wear pants with me on them, with any of my stuff on it. I can't, I could, I could make some juicy pants, I guess, but you can buy those anywhere. Uh, I could do a juicy with my face on it, you know, sweatpants with juicy and my face on it. Or my, just my picture on your ass. Uh, but let me get back over to uh, the chat here. See if there's anything coming in question-wise. Did you get my email? My Doc Glock shirt arrived. I did not see that. Hold on. Um, aha, there it is. Oh, he didn't send a picture. He just said it arrived. <clears throat> What's good that it arrived? Uh, and yes, you were on the list today. Like you said, you saw that I added you to the list because today the, was the first day I got a video that actually went through. Of course, it's pissing people off. So, although it was down to like a 95% approval rating at one point, and it's back up to 98.4 now. So it seems like the more people who watch it, the less people are pissed at me percentage wise. <clears throat> so that's good. That's good. Uh, da, da, da. My nose is itchy. <clears throat> uh, Michael Larigio says, yes, that sexy Yankee Harley Quinn. I see now that could be something I could put on the back ass of a sweatshirt, sweatpants. I mean, uh, what's for dinner? They're a festival down the block. So I'm going to go grab some a food truck from a food truck. Yeah, that's, my sister eats food trucks all the time because she works downtown stuff. I've hardly ever eaten at a food truck, even though they're really big here in Portland, in the, this area. Uh, <clears throat> uh, we're having uh, chicken and biscuits. I am, I just, we got a couple of Costco chickens yesterday and we only ate a little bit of it. So we have like a one and a half chickens left. So I boned them just before this chat, put them in a, in a couple of dishes and then I'm going to, cover them with chicken gravy and uh, probably some peas and carrots and uh, then some biscuits. Now, sometimes I'll do it like dumplings and I'll just tear the biscuits into pieces and just mix it all together and cook it to where the biscuits are just soft as dumplings in the middle. But I actually prefer biscuits on top. But the only thing is with the biscuits on top, if you want them to, to get nice and biscuity, you have to actually bake the biscuits like two thirds of the way first and then take them off and put them on the uh, the gravy and chicken and then bake those with foil over them for about 40 minutes <clears throat> and then take the foil off and let them brown on top because if you just stick raw i see people making it with just sticking the raw biscuits uh dough on top of the and it, it always ends up doughy on the bottom they get nice and brown top but then the bottom of the biscuits are doughy you got to cook the biscuits about two-thirds first and then flip them over and put them on the chicken I'm like come on people <clears throat> Uh, whoops, it jumped me down to the bottom. Hold on, I gotta find where it was. Got my all hell fill hat today, just waiting on the flags. I read that, didn't I? Uh, good evening, Yankee. Did my shirt get fixed? I don't think so yet. There's it still says, uh, pending, uh, well, no, pending resolution. 
that they've said that they've contacted the producer and it's pending resolution and I can't do anything. I've tried to uh, cancel it and just reorder it from another source and stuff. But while it's pending resolution, I can't make any changes to it. Doesn't let me edit. So I'm going to call a Monday and see what the fuck is going on. Why is this still pending resolution? <clears throat> Cause that just made it worse. Cause now I can't even just cancel it or edit it or whatever. But I'll look later, see if it did anything, but I don't think it did. Uh, how often do you change your carry ammo? I usually shoot what's in my M638 monthly. <clears throat> well, if I haven't shot it, there's no reason to carry my ammo. And in a revolver, I don't worry about setback or anything. So I can just take my carry ammo out when I go to the range uh, and just shoot whatever I want to shoot. But I try to shoot my carry ammo every now and then, but you really don't need to. Uh, if you figure out it works good in your gun and if you carry a revolver, you know, it works in your gun. Uh, there's not really a need to shoot or cycle your carry ammo. Be good for years. I could take the same six rounds in and out of my carry gun for 10, 15, 20 years and be fine. Uh, if they're being cycled into a magazine and into a chamber and then out of the chamber, I don't like doing that because then you end up with bullet setback and you can end up with an overpressurized bullet. <clears throat> but since I carry a revolver, I don't really change my carry ammo very often. In fact, I've probably got, probably had the same six rounds uh, in that uh, uh, Colt since I started carrying it. And I think I transferred those six over from the, uh, not Python, uh, GP100. Eating pizza and watching Yankee, is there a better way to send a spin a Saturday evening? Oh, God, yes. I can think of like a hundred different ways that would be way better right off the bat. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, Eric M509, leaving the mental health field after six years. I'm burned out dealing with all their endless nonsense for the P's and the V's. Well, every <clears throat> I will say probably like every five years, I would take a break from mental health uh, and do different things. Uh, like I've taken a break from working in the mental health field and went and sold cars. I took a broke break from mental health and went and waited tables. I took a break from mental health, went and uh, did lighting design for a, a, a building uh, company, a, a home manufacturing company around here. It's like every five years, I got to take a break uh, and, and just do something else where I'm not dealing with drama and tragedy constantly. Because as you probably know, especially doing what I was doing, working with at-risk youth. Well, early on in my career, I was working with uh, uh, Child Protective Services, and that was even more stressful. Uh, and then I went to work in as case manager for like homeless youth, etc., that's just infuriating. You'll work up with someone, you'll get them help, you'll get them off the street, you'll get them housing, you'll get them job interviews. And either they just will then just decide they don't want to show up for the job interviews, which means they get kicked out of their housing, or they'll take the job and just not show up. After about four days, they'll just stop showing up. Uh, and then they'll be surprised when they lose their housing and blah, blah, blah. So, and I don't like the way the system does it. Uh, these days, housing in the mental health field because of a bunch of Puritan bullshit, uh, being able to get someone in housing requires that they be working and they be clean. And if they aren't doing those things, they lose housing. And that does not work. You can't say someone has to get a job and get clean first before you house them and get them the care they need. You have to do the housing and the care first, and then you get them clean and working. Uh, most every other country does it that way. Uh, and they have much higher success rates than we do with our Puritan bullshit. It's like, we're not going to help unless you clean your act up. Yeah, that, that doesn't work. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Mikey D said, because Paul needs a hand, just checking the status of the shirt I won around the 13th. Hong Kong Kablooey. Well, I already sent that. Uh, we said it was for like your nephew or cousin or son-in-law or something like that. Let me see. Where is that? 
Hong Kong Bluey. Uh, and I gotta find it. Do, 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 do. No way, that's October. That ain't it. Let me see if it's that. Do, 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 the other one. Uh, there we go. No. Yeah, March 18th. Hong Kong Kablooey. Do, do, do. It shipped on the 21st. It should be arriving. Doesn't have an arrival date yet, but it says it shipped on the 21st. Well, that would have been, what, Thursday? So there's no arrival date yet. But it's, but it's shipped. USPS says it will update with a, a date whenever, as soon as it can. But yes, it's already shipped. <clears throat> No setback in revolvers or crip jumping. But you don't got to worry about crip jumping unless you're shooting the gun with it in it. Uh, so if you're not shooting the gun with it in there, well, if you're shooting it with it in there, well, then you're shooting it, so it ain't going to matter. Uh, but crip jump doesn't happen unless you shoot the gun with the rounds in there. So you don't have to worry about setback, and you don't have to worry about crip jump unless you're, like I said, unless you're shooting it in a gun uh, and you know, that you're not shooting your everyday carry ammo. So, uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about that with a revolver. That was Michael C-3PO emphasizing that point. <clears throat> five, four, five by three, nine said, Punva, P and V for one pterosaur, one velociraptor. Uh, adopted, I am raising, and that he is uh, paying his child support on, or dinosaur support. They are technically dinosaurs, aren't they? Because I never can't remember. The people, when you say dinosaur, people are like, yeah, that animal was loved before dinosaurs. It's not really a dinosaur. Yeah. Those people are taxing. <clears throat> My mom should be on her way here now. She's supposed to have left early this morning. I haven't heard from her yet today. So hopefully they're still alive. It's her, my niece, Brianne, and her two Kids, Braylon and Brayden, I do believe their names are. <clears throat> Braylon and Brayden. I think their last name is Wilkins, though. So, Wilkins. Can't wait to meet them. I ain't met them yet. They're five years old, and I haven't met them yet once. I would love to see them when they were babies, but I ain't flying there. So, <clears throat> finally got them to come here. Of course, I have to pay for it. I would rather pay to have them come here and then fly them back than I would uh, fly there to meet them. I'd rather fly all of them here than just me there, even though it's many times more expensive. It costs just as much to fly a five-year-old as it does an adult. I don't even know why they ask you if they're kids. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I don't want to fly. I don't like flying. I don't like traveling. Uh, I don't like the act of traveling. I don't like going through airports. Don't like going through security. Don't like going through the, sh the just the bullshit of it. It's not my thing. Excuse me, not my thing. Um, where was a? Hey, Ink, what's going on with the pistol brace rule? Uh, well, I haven't seen anything change about the pistol brace rule, so. I don't worry about it. I just don't, I don't make any changes to anything I do because of the stupid pistol brace rule. Um, are there questions people seem to ask you over and over again? Oh yeah, all the time. There's several questions. That, there's tons of questions that you get repeatedly. Like, well, what's the best ammo for this? Or, you know, what's the best gun for home defense? And, you know, there's just tons of questions that you'll get every day. <coughs> And you have a gun channel. There's just tons of shit you get every day. Any updates from the rapid speed strip? <coughs> Excuse me. Not that I know of. Every time they get them in, I miss out. Let me see if I can. Rapid speed loader. A rapid system. Out of stock. Well, they were doing pre-orders. Uh, those ones are supposed to be in in April, but they have, they're not doing any more pre-orders. 
Did I just get an order? I think I just got an order. Dale Rickety. What did Dale Rickety get? He got a TYMP flag. Is that just the one with my logo on it? Yeah, okay. It's not a TYMP triple P flag. I haven't made any of those. I just made the TYMP flag. I have a TYMP triple P flag, but, I, but you all don't get it. Uh, it's not for you. It's mine. Uh, basically, hell, how much for a good old-fashioned desk pop for the good old days? Can't do it. They'll close my channel down. When you say you piece of shit, what do you mean you piece of shit? I mean, I'm talking to you specifically. Uh, where were we? I'm going to report you for being anti-Gary Glock person. Gary's only got one R in it. I don't know where you got two R's in Gary, but I ain't anti-Gary. He's dead. You know, don't hear me speaking ill of the dead. Uh, I have never heard you bully or harass anyone. You have shouted at me in the past, but that's not bullying and harassment. I mean, I've yelled at people in debates and stuff, but not bullied. I mean, I'd give them a fair chance to yell at me, too, I think. Any thoughts on Vepers? I like Vepers. I got a couple Vepers. I got three Vepers. I got two AKs and an AK uh, shotgun. The AK shotgun weighs about, I think, 152 pounds. So I don't really do much with that. But the Vepers themselves, the AKs, which I can't grab, even though it's sitting right there, I can't pick it up. <clears throat> I like Vepers. Uh, Eric M509 says Washington legislative session is over. Did the video storage bill for the FFLs get passed? You know, I lost track of it after the final amendments. Uh, good Lord. Let me see if I can. Oops, that's not right. Uh... I don't remember what final version. Uh, um, let me see if I can find the final version. Uh, <coughs> uh, engrossed substitute is on uh, the the the. But which version was it? What does it actually say? It was delivered to the governor on March 7th. Uh, I don't know what the actual final version was. Uh, let me see if I can find the actual final version. Don't smell. Um, uh, not now. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can find the final version of the bill that just gives me like a synopsis. Uh, Let's see. I can't find a synopsis of the bill text, bill summary. Where's the bill summary? Uh, da, 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 da. Where is the actual, gives you the actual date. Well, I'll have to look into it later. I don't remember which final version, what the details were of the final version. It hasn't been signed by the governor yet, uh, but we'll figure it out. Does anybody else out there know what the final, which one the final? Because I know they did the amendments to the time, and uh, they changed it from six years to two years, and then they changed it to 45 days, but I don't know if that 45 days amendment passed. Uh, I lost track of it after that. Because I just knew it was going to happen. So, 
Uh, Scrooge says, took a range trip today, so I'm cleaning four guns. LGS had a Q5SF on sale and a 92 GTS two-tone. Uh, oh, the two-tone. That's the, the special edition one. That's the one I want. Uh, I can't afford it right now. I uh, really love the Q5SF, but it's tough to justify it when my Shadow 2 Compact has same capacity and is fired. Well, yeah, but they're different guns, completely different guns. I don't think you can use your Shadow as a boat anchor quite as easily as you can the Q5S. <clears throat> You'll be sorry you don't have that if you need a boat anchor. Uh... Did someone else order something? Oh, yeah. Someone got a magnet. Who was this? Jeff Beeson got a magnet. Uh, P's and V's. But I would get the 92 GTS. I want those GT. I think the TS stands for twin sear, if I'm not mistaken, because the decocker and safety is on the frame. I mean, I'm not even someone who wants the safety to be, the decocker to be on the frame. I like it right where it was, is, but I want to have a version of that. Can't call myself a Beretta collector if I don't. I'm just some guy that has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, uh, 90 series Berettas. Uh <clears throat> Glock Den says P's and V's. I hear pizza shops may be adopting a universal no knock delivery policy. Well, that would be not a good idea, I don't think. Although I don't care because I can't get pizza delivered up here. You can't get pizza delivered up here. Uh, if we want pizza, we can go down to the Mercantile, which is a little store that's down at the bend in the river down there. It's the Washougal River Mercantile. And uh uh, uh, it's only like three and a half miles from my road up here. Like once I get to the end of the gravel road, it's only like three and a half miles down the hill and up to the, that because it's at the top of the hill, you know, going down Washougal River Road. Because <clears throat> you got to come up Washougal River Road all the way to the top, basically. And then you got to go up another hill to get to my house. But uh, it's at like the high point of Washougal River Road. It's called the Washougal River Mercantile. Uh, and uh, they have pizza, but it's not real good pizza. And they don't deliver. So I got to go down and get it. <clears throat> Are the pizza delivery guys going to be armed when they do that? Do they get to kick the door open or do they just open it and come in if it's unlocked? Uh, thought, oops. It jumped on me. Well, I've lost my place. Hold on. Any, uh, I read that. Any thought on Beverly? Thoughts on Walter P99. Those are great guns. I like them. I like to have the P99 AS. I don't got it, but I'd like to. Sweetie says, in Grab a Gun, where you get guns from fast shipping is grab a gun where you get your guns from fast shipping. Grab a gun is where I get all the uh, TYM triple P guns. I used to get them all from uh, sporting systems and they actually did some really nice stuff by adding a box of ammo and blah, blah, blah. But now I just have them shipped from uh, uh, grab a gun because sporting systems was getting kind of busy and it was kind of being an imposition on them. So I just knew they would never stop doing it. But so, but so I just started going to grab again. Um, in Oakland, California, a 102 year old man has been ordered to clean up graffiti on his fence or pay a $2,500 fine. Yeah, that's the way things work. The city doesn't take responsibility for anything. It's like they'll tell you, you don't own the sidewalk in front of your house, but if the sidewalk in front of your house is broken, you got to pay to fix it. <clears throat> Same kind of thinking there. Hi, Yankee Marshall. What's YTM? Yankee the Marshall. Uh, I liked your recent video. You made a lot of great points. Do you have a crock pot? Thanks. Well, yeah, I have a crock pot. I have a crock pot. I have a pressure cooker. I have what's those Instapot things. I got one of those. I don't know if I've ever used my Instapot, though. Uh, good evening, EO, old fartette. 
Happy National Puppy Day to Turnip and Django. They're not actually puppies anymore, but they think they are. Uh, if that California that was selected for TYMP wants a pistol instead of a shotgun, grab a gun, has a CW9093 KRT with Cryptek camo for 255. Yes, that's not bad. And I have sent uh, cars to California before. But I think he wants a shotgun. So, I mean, I'll ask him, but. You got it for my, yeah, I got it for my son-in-law. Uh, at least here in central Washington, they give them housing and ask them not to use, but unless they destroy their apartment, nothing happens to them. They constantly destroy their apartments. Oh, yeah, that's one of the rough things is keeping maintenance. Why don't I write down 282-87.6? I'm doing there. I write down things all the time. Like I send myself little notes, like for videos and stuff. Like I sent one the other day, said no rings. And I'm like, what the fuck did I mean by that? I'm still trying to figure out what I meant by no rings. <clears throat> Thanks for your blood on the badge video. That took balls. Well, I have no problem telling people how I feel about law enforcement. Uh, I know it doesn't win over any people and it's not the profitable thing to do in the gun community, but it's the honest thing to do as far as I'm concerned. So, because that's how I feel about law enforcement. Uh, and I love these guys who are like cops, like grab a gu uh, uh, guns and gadgets who will slam the ATF, but then act like that they're, they don't do the exact same fucking thing. A uh, lot of jobber pro wrestlers from the 1980s are bitter because nobody recognized them at conventions. Well, they were jobbers. What do they expect? Well, yeah, one of my roommates was a jobber for NWA and stuff. Uh, he didn't expect to get recognized. Well, a lot of times he wore a mask. Uh, and the reason you'd wear a mask because you could job twice in one shot. Uh, you could come out and job, you know, without a mask. And then later you can come out with a mask and, and job. Uh, he was part of a, a, a mixed mask team, like a dual max, a, a, a tag max a mask team. But then he would also come out on his own and get, uh, he was a big guy, six foot six, 360 pounds. So uh, he would come out and job twice. I got video of him with uh, uh, Ron Simmons sitting on his face. Uh, we got an order from Gary Taylor got to save the 40 ceramic mug. I guess I should add him to the list over here. Gary Taylor. There we go. Oh, nope. I wrote him as Gay Taylor. Gary, not Gay Taylor. Although I like that name better. Gay Taylor. Gary or Gary Gaylor. That'd be Gary Gaylord. That'd be better. You ever think of changing your name, Gary Gaylord? That's kind of got a ring to it. Kind of like Gary Glitter. But hopefully you wouldn't molest any kids. I do believe, if I remember correctly, Gary Glitter molested some children. That Doctor Who song still is awesome, but it, he, I think he molested some kids. I don't know what to what extent. I mean, did he have sex with like a 17-year-old or was it like young kids? But still, I know Gary Glitter uh, molested some kids, I think. I think it was Gary Glitter. Wasn't it Gary Glitter? Uh... It turns out that pro wrestler Virgil fibbed about his age for decades. He died at age 72, not 61. Well, that's not uncommon. Uh, Boogeyman's another one that did that for a long time. Uh, the conversion grip you found yesterday, it says for KL frame, I still can't find anything for M60. I thought I looked it for one for, maybe I didn't. Um, you could make some. Well, it wouldn't be a festival without someone getting arrested for being tipsy. Well, I mean, it could still be, but it's not likely that it'll happen. Uh, the no-knock pizza delivery guys are delivering Hawaii Hawaiian pizzas. Well, then they deserve to get shot, so I'm not worried about them. They're actually per 
perpetuating that whole Hawaiian pizza bullshit. They deserve what they get. Uh, did you hear about the Clark County firefighter who's accused of murdering his wife? He lives on 34th Street in Washougal. I, I did not. Don't really keep up. I haven't been watching the news lately, and I'm much happier because of it. Did I go through all the chats already? I don't think I skipped any. Mm, nope, looks like I got everything. We are out of chats. I'm all caught up on the super chat. Oh, I can do that. I wanted to do something real quick. Which one of these designs do you like better? Uh, where's the winder? There it is. Uh, let me show this. Which do you like better? The one on the left that has the, you know, the thicker, more basic type that fills everything in better. Or do you like the one with the more rounded off type on the right? That is a little lighter. It's not as heavy. Although I don't, I can't decide which one I like. I mean, I like that type, but I think this the one on the left fills it up better, and it, it's different than, you know, the U.S. Bureau. I like the fact that it's a different type font than that part of it. So, which one do you like? Now, I'm, this is not the finalized version. I'm not just going to leave the ATF in a box. I'm going to make its own little shield thing for that up there. But uh, uh, which one y'all like, right or left? Yeah, right, left, left, right. So, so far, not being a bit here. Let me, let me do a poll. We ain't done a poll in a while. Uh, which badge design? Well, that's a question. I don't want to do a question. I want to do the poll. Where's the poll? There it is. Which, oops, which badge design? Left, right. All right. All right. I'm going to leave the picture up for a few minutes so you all can decide, uh, you all can vote on which one. Uh, it's going to be a t-shirt, a hat. Uh, and other shit. So, ah, uh, where was I? <clears throat> Looks like the one left is winning so far. Uh, right was right. Gets my vote. Looks more official. It does look a little more official. And I could always squeeze that in some. Maybe I'll do kind of like a combo. I could always do a little, a little finessing of the actual, what do you call it? The actual type. Um... How much time I got left? We got 12 minutes. I got shit I want to go do. So now I feel antsy because I want to go do, I want to go look for that receipt and I want to go finish this design. Uh, let's see. I caught up on the super chats. We still got to do a drawing before I can go anywhere. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. I'm all caught up on the supers. Uh, make the bird look more like a vulture. No, I'm not going to make him look like a vulture. That's mean. Uh, uh, I think I'm like I said, I'm still the left is bold on the right. I didn't even notice the eagle at first. What? The left is bold on the right. I didn't even notice the eagle at first. What? How would you not notice the eagle? Uh, uh, I guess I could always do a here let me see if I can do this real quick graphic converter file open ETF badges where did I put them okay here we go uh, let me do this let 
Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let me do this one. Oops. Uh, let me just move it up. All right, now let me select it. <laughs> Copy <sighs> picture file new from clipboard, and then let's edit it. Resize, scale, unlink these. Uh, width, I want to do, let's do 85 on the width and 120 on the height. Uh, let's do it again. Resize, scale. Um, let's, this time, let's do 90 on the width and 115 on the height. Boom. All right. Now let me select that. Boom. I can still make it bigger. Let me see here. Hold on. Um, I'm working on this here real quick. Hold on. Give me one minute. Don't be getting pissy with me yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, now let me resize scale width hundred hundred and fifteen hundred and five. Boop. Control A, copy V. Uh, this should give you a more close idea. I basically file save as replace flatten and save. All right. Now let me share uh, the changes I made. Uh, Present, share screen, window. I made the type bolder, bigger on the other one. Uh, let's see, now let's stop the poll because it was pretty close in poll. And let's do it again now with the type font being heavier on the other side, which badge design left right start poll. All right, now y'all can do it with the new badge design. Audit and two says grips were for K frame need conversion for M60. I thought those were, I thought we looked for J frames yesterday. Maybe I made a mistake. Um, Oops, it didn't share the share screen window. All right, so now that one's got the, that's the wrong, that's not what I wanted to share. Uh, 
this is hold on there we go now i can share them all right there we go now which one of those now that i've boldened up the type on the right which one do you like better <clears throat> uh let's see am i all caught up over here yeah uh yeah see that was pretty close over there although people like the left better let's see what happens now i still like i said i still gotta do the shield around the atf uh and stuff like that but you know can do that when ever uh <clears throat> where was a Oh, I was going to look for J-frame round to square. J-frame round to square. Round to square conversion grips for a J-frame. J-frame round to square bit, but... This is on the Smith & Wesson forum. Let's see, where do they list any? Uh, this is asking for conversion. Uh, I can't see the pictures because I'm not signed in. Nope, and I'm not going to sign in. Um, those are not J-frames, even though this... Clearly, you put up a question, a very, like this person asked a very specific question. I want to convert my round butt J-frame to a square butt and half the people showing KL frames. Excuse me. Uh, Tammy Dean just bought a Pika FU hat, an all hail Phil hat and a Pika FU uh, magnet. Tammy Dean, like I said, I think that's my favorite brand of sausage. Uh, let's see here. Mark Calkins used his 26 month member chat to say Hawaii Hawaii should sue Canada for putting pineapple on pizza and implying and implicating them in that abomination. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it's not fair. Uh, let's see. Where am I at? Have you talked to the boogie woogie man? You said the boogie man. You mean boogie woogie man, Jimmy Valiant, a couple of times. A heck of a nice guy. I was talking about the boogie man, not Jimmy, not the boogie woogie man. You know, the boogie man, the one with the worms and stuff. He might very much lied about his age. Jimmy Valiant, the boogie woogie man, is a different story. Uh, about time they federally legalize weed and put it under the ATF, give them something else to do aside from firearms. Well, it should just be alcohol, tobacco, and weed. I don't know why they deal with firearms. Fire, firearms got nothing to do with tobacco or alcohol. Weed would have more to do with it, so do alcohol, tobacco, and weed. I put the and or ampersand between terrorists and fascists vertically. Uh, no. It leaves too big a space. Well, yeah. Yeah, it still would leave quite a big space. I mean, I'll, pl I'll play with that idea, but we'll see. Uh, found a deep fried Twinkie on my way to find a funnel cake. Oh, I'd rather have a funnel cake. I don't want a deep fried Twinkie. Please stop asking me to do your poll. You'll do what I ask, and you'll like it. Protesting too much. Uh, <clears throat> where am I? Odie, the dog from Garfield, originally belonged to John's friend Lyman. Odie was gifted to John. Yeah, I know. Lyman just deserted him. Just left him. I always feared him and John broke up. I always figured John is, gave me bisexual energy. And for one, he's got a cat. You misspelled AFT. Yeah, I don't think so. It's not aft. Um, where are we? Fair, oh, I read that. Should be weed, alcohol, tobacco, and tobacco. That way it could be what? Or it should be tobacco, weed, alcohol, 
and then something else. We can call it twat. What would be the other T? Or you just call it the Weed, Alcohol, and Tobacco Bureau. So it could be twat. We have to think some way to get that, that T in there. Uh, hamburger just took another price jump today. 80% jumped to 79, $79 a pound. Oof. I haven't bought much hamburger lately. What's hamburger running right now? At, let's see. Fred Meyer. I usually buy my meat at Costco, which is not cheap. People think Costco's cheap for meat. It is not. Uh, it's got better quality meat, but it is not cheap. Um, let's see. Hamburger. It would be meat. Uh, where's the 80%? That's the lean. Uh, let's see. How much is it here? Pound. I don't want to sign in. Just show me how much fucking hamburger costs a pound. It's wanting me to sign into my account. Uh, it's $5.99 a pound here. The 80% ground beef is $5.99 a pound. Uh, screw donated and says owning a cat equals buy vibes. Mm, they don't have a cat or two. Don't you have a cat or two? Uh, he just has one cat, ain't single. I ain't single. I got two cats. Um, where are we at? Oh, we're out of time. So let me go ahead and do the, the, the drawing and then we will get the fuck out of here. Uh, let me count upwards, and then we'll count down with the number. Uh, three, four, five, eight, seven, uh, 18, 21, 24, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 34, 35, 36, 37, 40, 43, 46. Uh, remember, chats. Uh, 49, 52. I got to generate a number between 1 and 52. That should be easy to remember because uh, the new 52. 52 weeks in a year. 25, so I got to count about halfway down. Uh, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, whew, 24. We missed it being uh, Mikey D again. 25, Michael C3PO. Michael C3PO is the winner. So uh, thanks, everybody, for coming tonight. I appreciate it. Uh, at least I didn't spend my day-to-day -day dealing with fucking Amazon. Or not Amazon. Uh, what is it? YouTube. So it wasn't as depressing as yesterday. Uh, uh, but thanks, everybody, for coming. I appreciate it. I'll see y'all again tomorrow. Uh, special thanks to those that support the channel, either by buying merch or being a subscribe star supporter or a Patreon supporter or doing Super Chats. Uh, thanks to everybody who supports the channel by watching my videos, thumbing them up, hopefully sharing them every chance you get. My videos are shareable, share them. Uh, I appreciate everything you all do for the channel. I will see you all again tomorrow. Uh, wait, what is tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow is Sunday, so it'll be a regular chat. So I will see you all again tomorrow. Until then, remember, always carry and stay safe until I see you again.